Hey there. Having trouble with internet connectivity on your secondary router? This can be frustrating, especially when you're trying to expand the wireless network in your home or office for better coverage. Fear not. In this guide, we'll explain how to fix the no internet connection issue on a secondary router. With a few simple steps, you can ensure that your secondary router works seamlessly, creating a smooth internet experience throughout your space. Step one, check physical connections. Before diving into complex settings, start by checking the physical setup. Ensure the secondary router is properly connected to a power source and that the ethernet cable is securely plugged into both the primary router's LAN port and the secondary router's WAN or LAN port, depending on the setup. Step two, disable DHCP on the secondary router. If your setup involves using the secondary router to extend your network, you'll want to disable DHCP. That stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Disable that on the secondary router. This ensures that the primary router manages all IP address assignments, preventing conflicts. To do this, access the secondary router settings, usually via its IP address in a web browser. Navigate to the network settings and turn off the DHCP server. Step three, set up the same SSID and password. To ensure seamless connectivity, configure the secondary router to use the same SSID and password on the primary router. This allows devices to switch between routers without manual intervention. While in the secondary router settings, change the SSID and password to match the primary router. Select the same security protocol, such as UPA2, and save your settings. Step four, assign a unique IP address to the secondary router. To avoid IP address conflicts, assign a unique IP address to the secondary router. This address should be within the same subnet as the primary router, but outside its DHP range. For example, if the primary router's IP is 192.168.1.1, and the DHP range is from 192.168.1.100 to 192.168.1.200, you could assign the secondary router the IP address 192.168.1.2. Update this in the LAN settings of the secondary router and save the changes. Step five, check for firmware updates. Outdated firmware can cause connectivity issues. Check both your primary and secondary routers for available firmware updates. Access the settings page for each router and look for the firmware update section. Follow the instructions to download and install any updates to ensure both devices are running efficiently. Step six, test the connection. After configuring the secondary router, Test the internet connection. Connect a device to the secondary router's Wi-Fi network and see if it can access the internet. If it works, your setup is successful. If not, revisit the steps to ensure everything is correctly configured. Figuring out how to fix the no internet connection issue on your secondary router may seem daunting, but by following these straightforward steps, you can easily resolve it. From checking physical connections and disabling DHCP, to aligning SSIDs and updating firmware, these measures ensure that you enjoy unerring. Figuring out how to fix the no internet connection issue on your secondary router may seem daunting, but by following these straightforward steps, you can easily resolve it. From checking physical connections and disabling DHCP, to aligning SSIDs and updating firmware, these measures ensure that you enjoy uninterrupted connectivity throughout your space. Remember, persistence is key, and sometimes a simple reset or reconfiguration can do wonders. Stay connected and enjoy hassle-free internet access.